on this edition, we are at the Rose City Antique Mall, the biggest antique mall on M33 with Cliff Parent. And we welcome you to our first broadcast on Ustream of what we have in store. This is a uh, treasure paradise, but it's moved. You may have uh, felt that you couldn't find uh, the, uh, the the treasure mine when it, because it's not in its other place in downtown Rose right. City. What happened, Cliff? Where are you at now? We're right across from McDonald's, just about a qu half a mile south of where we were. And it's uh, we got three times as much space when we get it all done and yeah. it's it's really working out nice got yeah. a lot of parking and yep. a lot of space handicap accessible yeah. yeah you can't miss it right across from mcdonald's and that mcdonald's is pretty famous on the internet now the site of the double rainbow yeah. i see that on the internet a little bit did you take that picture yeah i took that picture wow that's right here is the end of the rainbow it's a pot of gold here right? a lot of gold <laughs> Well, we're setting out one of the uh, items we're going to feature today. Uh, every once in a while, you see us on Ustream.tv featuring some treasures we have. You know, we see all sorts of shows on TV now. We've got Pawn Stars. We've got American Pickers. And people are realizing that there is treasure in their homes or in their garages or the right. basement. they just got to look around and find it. Is that what you pretty much have done the past years, Cliff? That's what I've done. And then, and then we're, we keep finding more treasures. You think yeah. they're all gone, but, but they're not. they just are not. <laughs> One of the places you frequent, too, is the estate sales, isn't it? Yeah, we do a lot of estate sales, and uh, you find stuff out in the garage and up in the barns and down in the basement and mm -hmm. underneath the beds, they hide stuff and, and, my, one and man, goodies. Yeah, one man's junk just might be another man's treasure. We have found a lot of treasures here. This is a 1950s table, isn't right. it, Cliff? Tell us a little bit about this. This is from 1950, made by Daystrom, uh, and they only made a few of these tables, and this particular one is called playtime play dine table mm -hmm. and uh, you can play cards it's got the cigarette holders and the ashtrays yeah, and the yeah. cup holders and it's uh, we've redone this and it, it's just it's just really a nice piece as you can see now as you're looking we're showing cliff is showing us how this operates these two leaves i mean these two ends come out, come out. And uh, in the middle is what? That's uh, in the middle is is your card table. Okay. It's got the walls so that you can uh, throw dice or whatever you want to do, so right. that they won't roll off the table. Right, right. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a good one for Ma and Pa too, because Ma would never be the, any wiser if, if Pa had a <laughs> poker game going on. What? <laughs> He could really figure out how to do this. But this is the kind of table I remember growing up. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the, what is this, chrome, chrome on this side? It's art deco, like a little art deco style. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was real popular. They had the, the red tops and the uh, yellow tops and the blue tops and mm -hmm. the gray tops. It was very popular back right. in the 50s. Right. Yeah. Right. I remember as a toddler banging my head on the side of those, <laughs> trying to find out what was up at the table here. But we have, how much square feet do you have here at the showroom? In this front part, we have 4,000 square feet. Okay, 4,000. And, okay. and then we're working on the back, which has 1,500. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of the wall there, on the west side of the building, there's another 3,000 that we'll be mm -hmm. working on this winter. So mm -hmm. come Easter, we hope to have it all, all open. Yeah, and I noticed in back there, there are some things that you haven't even put on the showroom yet. Oh, we have lots, lots of, stuff. of treasures. Well, maybe we can open those together as the program goes <laughs> along. Maybe you can share some of those with us. You're always on the road, it seems, finding new treasures and things, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Th this particular table here came right out of uh, Rose City. It was an estate that we bought, and nobody had been in the house for 40 years. And, wow. and we, uh, they come up from Cleveland, and we all offered them a price, and they accepted it. And mm -hmm. we moved everything out, and uh, just a beautiful furniture. Most of it was from 1880, 1890. Beautiful furniture. So, yeah. And this was a treasure. We didn't know what it was until we started moving it. <laughs> We find out it's a poker yeah. table underneath. Wow, so, yeah. Now, on this, over there at the side, there we have this big. Is it a coffee grinder? This is is a it? Coffee Tell us about that. This is what is the date on it? I think it's uh, eighteen. Gosh. I think it's eighteen ninety-three. That's a big one. And the only thing that's missing is the top up here. Okay. We we've been looking for one. Okay. But this is for the store that used to come out of the store, and it All has right. the the. All the, right. The. There, but it's in mint condition. You know, I mean, it's all original. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made by Elgin National. Now, you you have all sorts of pieces here that you've discovered too. But you're also open to people letting you know what they've got, and you do have some consignment pieces yes, here. We do you? have okay. some consignment pieces. Uh, um, we have some people that rent a booth, and we have other people that uh, oh, we, well, my dad's got three or four pieces. Can I bring them in and sell them? And then uh, we sell them on, on consignment. And, uh -huh. And uh, that way they don't have to have a garage sale or yeah. take them somewhere. They don't have to worry about trying to sell them and not sell them. And yeah. 
this gives us a big variety this way. We get a lot of stuff that sure. we wouldn't be getting if we didn't have uh, right. these other consigners. That's right. Now, if anybody's interested in, in, in what we have here, what Cliff has here at the Rosetta Antique Mall, they can get a hold of you on phone, right? right. What's your phone number? 989-685-2656 or Mall at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. okay. And we also have an eBay store. RC Mall 101, we have products on there that we continually upgrade. Uh -huh. okay. so, so people can go online if you see something here that's uh, not online, you can call here. Right. But you uh, urge everybody to check out what you've got right. online. And we can send them pictures. If they want something particular, we can send them pictures and okay. measurements or whatever they want to know and prices. Oh, yeah. You've got all sorts of uh, objects out here that have come from all over the state, all over the country, probably. Uh, one that we've noticed that we were getting into and finding out as I was walking through the door here uh, today, and that is the Thomas Edison uh, player. Like the phonograph, the old okay. cylinder type phonograph. Oh, this is an excellent condition. Yeah, it, it's uh, back in 1900, mm -hmm. and it's it's all oak case, and uh, the only thing that we're missing right now is the horn that went onto it, but otherwise it's. Mm -hmm. We got it working in perfect condition, and it's uh, really a very unusual piece. You just in that condition, you don't find them. They're generally out, been out in the garage, and they're all rusty. And mm -hmm. but it's a very nice piece. It was taken care of, and it's just kind of neat to think that perhaps Thomas Edison himself had his fingers on that, right? Or his, his ingenuity is in that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, that was the, the state, the art of the state of the art back then. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, that's not like we have now. Yeah, it goes, <laughs> <laughs> that's a little a little bit for your time and my time, Cliff. <laughs> uh, things have gone by so fast here and, and the technology and uh, now we're able to bring you uh, these little special snippets on Ustream.tv. It's something new we're going to try here and we hope you enjoy it and of course come on down to the Rose City Mall here in uh, just outside across from McDonald's, just outside the actual city limits right. of Rose City. Uh, but tell us a little bit about your hours before we show okay. people a little bit. We're here more. seven days a week. Uh, from, we're, we're generally here from 8.30 to 5 and then in the summertime a lot of times we don't get out to 8. You know, mm -hmm. But we're here... Uh, Mm -hmm. We're always open, mm -hmm. except Christmas and New Year's. We take two days off a year, so, wow. Wow. and we got a crew that's in helping us work. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I, I, I see that there's rooms back there that you can, you know, still explore. I remember the old place. That was really an exploration. You, you just didn't know what you're going to run into across around the around the next corner. Or, did you? Yeah, down yeah. the hallway. Yeah. This that room, yeah. that room. Yeah. yeah. But now you 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 have a fairly open space, and right. you can. Uh, you know. I think it's laid out much better, and we mm -hmm. can display stuff and. Mm -hmm. And furniture is doing real well, and mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. you just never know what's going to sell when somebody walks in the front door. You know? Do you remember any unusual piece that you can recall? I, I remember seeing uh, one of those crank phones you had here last time. Yeah, we, we still have. We've got another one of those. That's an old. That's back in the '30s. The old wall telephones right. with the battery operated, where you crank and mm -hmm. the operator will come on. And mm -hmm. yeah. I want. I want to get eight one or whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Back then. And uh, it, it's a real nice piece. It's oak, and it's, it's just as nice as the other one that we had. And, and it, over here, we have this bean sorter. A bean sorter? Yeah. Okay. okay. It, it's got pedals on it. You'd sit in front of it, and uh, you'd pedal. And uh, there's two trays that are missing here, and uh, you'd pick out the bad beans, and the good beans would go down to the back into the hopper. And, oh, I see. Well, that's uh, almost a, a, a museum piece there. Right. A lot of these are there. We're, we're trying to get this kind of stuff for people to look at. And that, you know, because a lot of it's not around. Railroad lantern, the f four, uh, four different colors. Signal. Wow. It's got the original uh, kerosene burner inside, which is rare because a lot of people uh, would take them out and they'd electrify them. But this has the original burner in it. Oh boy. Oh boy. So that's a nice piece. Yep. Okay. We're kind of a picker's dream down through oh here. Oh my. Uh, these are some of the things, wow. And all wow. this come out of this estate here. Wow. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun picking through this stuff and letting everybody see it, Cliff. Just going to yeah. take his time. We Just taking time. Holy cats. It goes all the way down around <laughs> the back. And there's more on the other side of those piles there. Up and over. house down the road that's twice as big as this building and it's full. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, Cliff, thank you very much for sharing on this first edition on Ustream. And we'll be back. I don't know. We're going to have to call you the, uh, the antique, uh, antique man of Northeast Michigan here. Any of our listeners out there have got a barn full of stuff or some sheds, 
we're going to have the Rose City Pickers that are going to be going out, and we'd like to come out and film your place and yes. buy some stuff from you. So give us a call at 685 685- 2656, area code 989. There you go, Cliff, and we'll be there with camera in hand. You might find some treasures out there. Okay. Okay.